Welcome back, everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood's Mick signing in. Taking a trip down memory lane. After the uh, release of the little snippet trailer of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it kind of got me thinking, even though I've beaten this game a hundred times over and found just about almost everything. Um, I actually stumbled across some stuff that I did miss in this game. Stuff that wasn't covered in the official strategy guide that pretty much, unless you were like a really, you know, hardcore looking up every little bit of info kind of person, you'd miss it. And honestly, I thought, thought I had found everything, but there are some things I have made note of that. Sorry, I got this damn bug in my room and I can't fucking seem to kill it. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, you little bastard. Anyway, uh, long story short, I am going to be replaying this game from start to finish. Um, I'm going to cut out a lot of the grinding. We're going to cover a whole wide range of stuff. Um... A lot of things that, you know, maybe some of you guys as casual players or, or maybe people who haven't even touched this game before. Um, sorry, I'm going to my little notepad here. Um, if you haven't played this game and maybe you want to um, or even want to experience it, you know, yourself or you're having trouble playing this game, whatever your reasons is, um, we're going to cover a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to cover pretty much every materia that's in the game. And this is going to be over the course of while we're playing. We're going to cover limit breaks, uh, where to find them, how to get them, um, how to level them up. There's different things you can do. Uh, source farming. Uh, there's five sources, I believe, in the game, or six uh, that raise stats. Kind of goes into where you know each source you use boosts your stats up and. Each stat can be maxed out to 255. Therefore, you know, if you, you, you grind a lot for it, you can actually get it and max your stats out for every single character. Now, there's some loopholes around it. There's a, a way to do it with a certain materia. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's called W item. Uh, there was a glitch created, or it wasn't even really a glitch. It was a glitch in the game that allows you to duplicate items. But if you do it a certain way you can actually duplicate sources without actually having to farm for them. Makes it really quick, makes it easy. Um, hidden weapons, hidden items, hidden accessories, um, rare items, that kind of stuff. Stuff that eh, you're probably not going to get on your very first run through. Um, I found uh, a few items on this weapon list that I made that was just, I, I didn't even know was a thing like I there like I honestly thought I had gotten everything until I started making this list and going through all these details and I, I gotta be honest I'm I'm in shock that I, I called myself a hardcore Final Fantasy fan because I thought I knew everything and I, I don't I don't at all god did I get you oh you little fucker you fucking tricky fucker I thought I got him anyway <laughs> I'm getting distracted I'm like a fucking ADHD crackhead right now so, a lot of this stuff is going, we're going to cover a lot of stuff. We're just going to go start to finish, you, you get watch the story, you get into everything. I'm going to keep everything at default. The only thing that I'm going to change is the, um, oh, well, of course, all the, the normal stuff that's in here. There's uh, cheats in here as well. I am going to refrain from using these during gameplay um the only time i will be using them is for grinds um when i have to level my character up i, I kind of know roundabout what levels i can be at when i go through certain areas so i try not to like boost my character up to 9900 or uh, to boost them up to level 99 as soon as i can but i'm gonna try to get it at a comfortable level to where I can go through rather smoothly. I don't have to worry about dying. I have to, you know, I can strategize just right and still play the game normally. Uh, I've noticed a lot of other things about the game. Um, oh, we're going to go over the, the chocobo breeding. 
was going to say Chocoboo Brady. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even think straight right now. Um, there's been a lot of discrepancies. Um, especially, like, amongst some of the, 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 the friends that I hang around with. You know, they say, oh, well, you know, I've done this and this and, and gotten it. And I was like, no, well, the way I've always done it is this. Oh, I've, I've never gotten it that way. Well, you can. It just takes a while. Um, I know a lot of instances it has to do with the, the RNG. Uh, it's called a random number generator. It, it basically constitutes your luck in this game. And a lot of the times whether or not you will or won't get anything is based on how well that works in your favor. And I'm trying not to be too loud. So a little, a little side history about this. Um, I got this game when. Oh man, I can't even remember the year, but I do remember we had a PlayStation that my older brother had essentially left at our house and eventually it just ended up becoming ours so this was during the time when I still played Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis you know, original Nintendo you know, I had all three and played them all the damn time all the damn time and we had a video store that was willing to Basically, this was before GameStop. Um, they were willing to let us trade our stuff in, so that way we can have a copy of this game. And <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. It's X on this one. So, a little known trick. If some people don't know this, but each one of these bodies has a potion. But you can totally skip it, and you can get both potions without ever making it to the second body by just doing this. There you go. But now in return, now watch, when I go to the second body, it, there's nothing going to be there. Yay! First fight. But, like I said, we, we traded a bunch of games in, and just like GameStop, you know, they screw you over. Um, but the guy was actually kind of cool. He said, you know, this, this is a pretty popular game. Um... It, it, it will take up a lot of time. You'll get a lot of use out of this, and he was not fucking kidding. Um, we, he did recommend we needed a memory card, because he says there's no way that you guys are going to be able to play this from beginning to end without a memory card. <laughs> and he was right. He was right. Uh, we actually, I remember one of the times we went to school, and, and see, look, I'm, I'm pressing the button. I, I can't get anything out of him. Um, I remember leaving our system running just so we could play it when we got back from school. Um, and, the, and it seemed like for the longest time, the longest we were able to get to was right uh, at the, the boss scene here shortly. And we just never could get any further than that because, you know, we'd have to stop. We'd have to push, shut it off. You know, it's homework, go to school, eat dinner, that whole nine yards. Um, hold on, let me... I'm gonna... Uh, already know. I'm gonna leave that the same. Oh, shit. Battle message, I'm gonna speed up. In the battle speed, I'm gonna speed up. That way you guys can still read the field messages with that pop up when people are talking. And I can do everything normal. So... Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much our, our, our deal with this. And me and my brother had two separate save files. Uh, we'd always try to beat each other to see who could do what the soonest. Um, who could get certain things done faster. You know, a lot of things. You know, we, a lot of sibling rival, rivalry going on. And, you know, we, uh, we just had so much fun with this game. And, and the fact that we were able to enjoy it for so long that... Even growing up, we still had we had the same copy for years, and we took so good care of that. 
Um, when we ended up finally getting our PlayStation 2, uh, the same thing. We just would consistently keep playing Final Fantasy, even though, you know, you had PlayStation 2 games coming out. And it, it was just, it was, it was an amazing experience. We had so much fun with it. And even now, to be able to play it the same way we did back then, it's just, it's, it's, it's just great. So, I'm, I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and get to enjoying this game uh, but yeah if uh, you guys like this series uh, let us know if you haven't played this game at all you know stay watching you know maybe I'll, you'll learn something that I that I found out on this that maybe you didn't know before you know maybe vice versa maybe there's something that I missed that you guys can show me Just cause. I heard the PC version, there's like so many different mods that you can get for it. And I'm almost afraid to mess with a PC version of it. Just because. I wasn't really too big on, you know, PC gaming. I always had consoles growing up. Uh, I mean, I know it's a big thing now, you know, you know, Steam and whatnot. I do have some games in my Steam library. One of these days, eventually, I'll be able to actually, like, play games on Steam for you guys here on YouTube. Uh, but right now, the way, the way it works out with my laptop, it is just not strong enough to, to, to run my recording run a rep webcam where I can do that at the same time unless I like physically run it through the system that's how I was able to stream that way uh, but when I was first trying to do my Resident Evil stream that was just uh, that was a real you know kick in the balls for me to realize how not powerful my laptop is uh, oh there's a little I'm gonna get this real quick all the goodies. All the goodies. Uh, I wanna... Uh, fuck, I just got the side track. Oh, sorry. Shiny object, of course. Um, I... I remember trying to get everything situated, and they, when I would do a pre-record just to see how it would run, I was either getting fucked up audio and everything was running smoothly in the background but the audio was all fucked up or I was getting the audio was working totally fine but the video was all fucked up and it was stuttering and hopping all over the place um, I just I, I just I couldn't find that balance so I'm, I'm probably sure there's like some way I can fiddle with it and figure out a way to make things run smoothly enough to where I can run it I just don't have the time I really don't um, between work, uh, trying to record, uh, most importantly, you know, taking care of my kids, and, you know, uh, it just, there's not enough time in the day for me, and I find sometimes myself being up late purposely just so I can get some content out for you guys. So, let it never be said that I don't sacrifice myself for, for what I like to do. <laughs> Hurry up! Yeah, like a bitch. But yeah, like, like I said, there was a lot of good memories from this game. I remember when we finally got when we finally got a, a game shark. Um, when we finally figured out what those were, and we would try to get codes and look at the back of um, uh, Game Informer magazines to see if they had cheat codes for games and whatnot. Um, it was just 
always having to look for that kind of stuff. It was just stuff we always did together. Um, we... I can't even remember. I think we ended up picking up our game shark uh, at a flea market uh, out here. And it, it was... Oh, I was going to say, did the shit just freeze? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, oh, man, I almost had a mini heart attack there. Um, no, I, uh, we picked it up at a flea market. And uh, I guess it was just an older guy that you know, was getting rid of some of his kid's stuff and ha happened to just have one. I, I just remember getting it. And I was like, we got to get it. We got to get it. We got to get it. <laughs> um, this was one of the many games that just started our entire PlayStation career. You know, a lot of people, are, you know, Xbox, PlayStation, me, I'm equal opportunity. I'll play them all. I don't give a fuck. But when we first got it, when we first got it, it was PlayStation all the way. And now that, you know, we have our own money and we can buy our own shit, that's why I'm just kind of like, I'll play both systems. I don't care. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> so... If I can remember what it is. Is this one? Yeah. That is my original save file uh, that I had when I first bought this. I bought it the day it came out on PlayStation 4. Um, and that is my original file. I've been playing that ever since. I have almost everything on here. Um, I'm missing a lot of the enemy skills, which there's a lot of... A lot of playing, trying to get it to work to where you can get every single enemy skill. Because I believe there's only four actual enemy skill materials in the game. But you have to be able to get all of the enemy skills themselves. Total nut job way of getting it. There's like, there's even one. Um, hold on. Uh, there we go. I did not want to accidentally save over that. Um, but I will. Let's go to the bottom here. Never mind. Uh, I forgot. That's a uh, alternate, just in case. That's um, that's pre-save crystal inside the northern cavern, and then this is. Fuck. Where is that? I have no idea where that is. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I played, by the way. <laughs> Let's just throw that in there, just just cause. Um. But yeah, no, it, it was just... I totally fucking got sidetracked. Shiny object. Um, fuck it, let's just get in the game. Uh, I'm sitting here having a stroll down memory lane. And, uh, I just can't even think straight right now. That and a lot of people... Depends on who plays, really. A lot of people don't like using this option. It gives you kind of like a detailed way of doing it. It lets you know what the enemies are called. Uh, it also uh, displays, you know, other stuff like whether or not you're trying to hit yourself. But oh, I should probably do. Ooh, limit breaks. I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. Um, so, with each... With each person, with the exception of a couple, there are limit breaks. Each limit break has four levels. There's four different levels, but each limit break has two levels, with the exception of um, your fourth one. The fourth one is your ultimate limit break. So, just take a quick pause real quick. I'm just going to do a quick heal because I know what's about to happen. But let's just go in here. So, for example, level 1 has Braver. Now, in level 1, there'll be Braver, and then there's another limit break, which, if you don't already know, you'll see later. So, I have to use Braver, I believe it's 8 times, before you get the second limit break in level one so in order to move on to level two your character has to kill x amount of enemies i believe it's like 70 something i think it's 72 76 something like that i'm not exactly sure i just know it's a lot so 
a lot of easy ways you could do this is uh, a magic all combination with your materia. Uh, you could use enemy skills that target all enemies, but easiest way to do that, kill a bunch of enemies all at the same time. Makes it that much quicker. So level two, you do that, you'll get the first one of level two, and then you rinse and repeat for level three. Level four, you have to do something very specific to get a certain item that allows you to unlock it. You give the item to said person, so like in this case, you give Cloud Omni Slash, which is the level floor, four limit break, but that's the only way he can get level four is by using said item. Anyway, let's get in it. So, like, I kind of wanted to do separate videos covering each thing, but I don't think I have the the program I'm using right now. It's just not wanting to work. So, I can't crop videos, edit videos, do different things that I normally would do, like shaving off certain sections, speeding it up to just cut a chunk out, what have you. So all you're getting is 100% raw clip from start to end, all the commentary, nothing edited, the whole nine yards. So with me, it's just not, I gotta find something different. The program I have, it's just, like I said, it doesn't work properly, it keeps force closing. Eventually, I'm just gonna just chuck the whole program, maybe try something different, I don't know. Either that or maybe I'll just get a different computer. I'm still working on that. Maybe if I get something a little more powerful, it'll actually work. Oh shit! Oh boy. Watching that state of play and watching him, this thing drop down was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah hammer. Normally, a uh, boss battle like this, they kind of... <sighs> I was going to go over different boss techniques when you're fighting this guy as well, but I got so caught up in what I'm doing. So, normal attacks aren't really going to do a whole lot. It's the cloud using bolt. That's going to give a little bit more oomph. Um, Barrett, on the other hand, he doesn't have materia at this point, so you're just going to have to get stuck using attacks. So usually what I try to do is, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing this exact same thing over and over again. Oh shit, I fucked up. So it's going to counterattack because I goofed. So note to self, don't ever do that. Just like that. I'm gonna take this time to heal because your boy done goofed. I was in such a rush that I fucked up. Give it a second, let us do its thing. Alright, it's gonna drop a step. Alright, hit you again. afraid of doing it again. Oh, never mind. Problem solved. So, this bad boy, I think, has a, had a thousand HP. So, it's kind of one of those things when you get it down low, you're kind of supposed to pay attention. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy talking. It's because I'm just sitting here trying to soothe you, or seduce you with the soothing sound of my sexual voice. Alright, time to get the fuck out. Ten minutes. 
which must be fun because like you can easily clear this in 10 minutes so I'm just curious on exactly uh, what the remake's gonna throw at you because last when I saw that the timer was set at 20 minutes so they must have put in some extra shit in your way keynote here some people just want to get the fuck out do not forget to pick her up because if you don't you will never get out Bitch's leg got stuck. Bitches always be sticky. Fuck. Oh, back attack. So, really quick, with back attacks, if you just tap L1, R1, real quick, it'll flip you around. Uh, so right now, my dudes are in the back row. So they're going to be doing less damage. Do this, they'll hop over to the front row, start doing normal damage. Which actually, I just realized something. Um, Barrett needs to stay in the back row. He's got a long range weapon, it'll work to his benefit. Which I'm gonna change right. Wrong one. There we go. Hurry up, Jesse. Coming after that booty. Uh, come here, Jesse. I got some popsicle for you. Mm. Get him. Sneak attack. There's also a couple of other things, like I know there's people that speedrun this game. I am not even going to attempt to speedrun this game, because I probably could do some research, make it happen. I don't have that kind of time. So get her, open up that door, talk to you, open up that door, shit. Get out of the way, you fucking fucker. So, anyway. A lot of other people, like I said, they, they sometimes will use this bar. I kind of do, or don't, depending. There's, if you hit the R trigger, or the right trigger, yeah, right trigger, uh, it brings up actual attacking points. So there are some enemies that are a single enemy that have multiple targets. This kind of gives you an idea of which one you're selecting. We use that in the conjunction of the other one, which is the, the sub-menu bar that's above the HUD, then it kind of makes it a little easier. Just gonna let this play out for a second. Boom, Michael Bay! Motherfuckers only considered about getting paid. Get back here! I want my money!
Nothing. Hey. Sure, I'll buy a flower. Hey, where are you going? I'll walk through you. Are you a figment of my imagination? So, also there are a lot of like NPC characters in here that you could probably talk to. I'm going to avoid all of that. <laughs> I'm only going to stick to the ones that are important, only ones that matter. Now, this, you could fight these guys, but just for the sake of getting through this section as fast as possible, I'm going to run. I would like to note that right here, if you wait too long, they'll make the choice for you and you will fight. Also, this would be a good spot to keep fighting them because with each fight you get more XP so it's a really good way to kind of give you give cloud that jump of XP to kind of go forward in with the game you just get a little bit more money a little bit of XP nothing too crazy not that you're missing out on anything. There's a lot of hidden items. I know I covered this before. But there's a lot of them. A lot of them. That solely focus around areas that once you leave, you're never going back there again. So it's very adamant about making sure you pick these up. And... As we're going through, don't worry. If you follow me regularly, I will point these out for you. Hopefully I don't mess up in the middle of this. And then cause a problem because then I can't go back to it. Unless I like reload the save. But, you know. Hello. Housekeeping. It's just like how the door opens and they're all calm and it wasn't until after he flies in that everybody's like, Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear, if they censor Barrett in the remake, I'm boycotting Square Enix. <laughs> This guy cusses, so they better not censor anything. Jesus, if they're going to remake Cloud in what I hope is the honeybee sweet in kind of part of the market, we'll get to that later, and you'll see why, because I'm going to go over all of it. <laughs> so just so you know exactly what you're getting in when we go to the, into the remake, this is what could be put in. Forewarning you, you're gonna see some shit. I'll apologize ahead of time if I accidentally skip through some of this stuff too quickly. Be sure to pause so that way you can get caught up. I tend to read a little bit quicker, plus I've played this game so many times that I literally don't even have to... Hey, this is my house. Let me in there. I'm gonna bother whoever I want. Motherfucker, let me in there.
little bit of details about what's going on. Also, a little bit of foreshadowing, just so you know. Somehow I think that scale is going to have to be changed slightly. Because based on how they made friggin' Midgar look in the remake trailer, holy shit. And just like that, done. Cutscene. Oh wait, no, that's after this. Hey, come on. It's been a little while since I played. Come on, guys. There we go. Toot toot. So interesting point here, or uh, fact to point out here. Um, you can actually go to the right there, but your character isn't at a level of which that you're going to live very long to be able to take care of it. So, just stay safe. Don't go that way. Just follow the storyline. Follow where you have to go. Oh, I also forgot to mention that little sub bar. You can press the same thing. It actually tells you where you can run. So, like, see, I can't go that way because it's not letting me. So... Yeah, I like how they're talking about the explosion within what I would assume to be 10 feet of an actual Shinra guard. So, yeah, real smart, especially if you're going to play the part of a eco-terrorist. Yeah, man, you're not allowed to go this way. It's like wrong. Of course, Barrett has to go in there and clean house. Time for our secret meeting. So there's a little bit of stuff that we can do ahead of time. Um, this one I don't think... Yeah, no, we can't do that quite yet. This one I think we can do? Um... Yeah, so, okay, we can definitely buy stuff. So, damn, that is going to take a lot of my money. Hurry shit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to wait, because I know I get my a chunk of money when I finish a certain part coming up here. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Exit. There we go. 
go up here real quick. Because there's... Is it this one? No. No, it's the next one. So there are... Is that here? Nope. Nope. Not here. Nope. Get out of my way, kid. Yeah, punch in the face. You sit here and talk shit. Kick you in the dick. Could have swore there was something up here, but I, th I think I, I'm thinking of a different area, I believe. So. Blair! Kapow! Ah, shit, and I hate this part too, because there is just so much. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to shut up and let this kind of go for a while until we get past a certain point, and then I should be able to save. <laughs> Papa, do I look like your dad? <laughs> Good old Tifa. By the way, um, you know what? Nah, let's give it to you. Make you like me a little bit more. Anyway, um, so if you haven't already watched it, I put the video for the state of play for the remake trailer in, uh, in my uploads. Um, if you watch it very carefully, you will notice that Tifa is in the command menu, like in the in the HUD menu of the list of characters. But if you notice, she's nowhere to be seen in the tech demo, or the actual demo itself, the little trailer. And your man here has it under great authority that I've figured out why. And it's because that they're still struggling to figure out how to put both of her titties in the same screenshot. So, just a little note, that's probably the reason what's going on. Um, it, it could be that or the fact that they just don't want tons of seed to be spilled like Muhammad Ali at a bird feeder. So that's probably what's going to happen once they actually release her. Like if they make her look the way she is in the game and like not from Advent Children, there's going to be a lot of people playing Final Fantasy VII one-handed. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Give me something hard. Now, are you telling me to give you something hard? Or are you saying to her that you want something hard? Because that just sounds a bit of homo right there. It seems like you're wasting unnecessary power keeping that TV on when there's no signal. Y'all don't got cable up here? I know you don't got satellite because you got a big metal plate over the top of you, so satellite wouldn't really work. But y'all ain't got cable? Yeah, tired of carrying y'all motherfuckers. Biggs is going to be able to hold back Barrett. Well, clearly. Couldn't really do that then.
Just swell up on a motherfucker. Come upstairs, I wanna talk about my money. This is the only part of the game I really hate. Cause then you do frickin' flashback. And it just takes so long with the flashback. Oh fuck. So I think like Cloud's like 20s-ish. So seven years, that would put him as a teenager. And I'm sorry, but these representations of them do not show me teenager. They show me very young, teen, not even preteen. Like we're talking like eight, nine years old. Look at him, so tiny. Motherfucker couldn't even style his hair any different back then. Oh, and the motherfucker had a ponytail. Plot twist, kid. He ain't that great. So determined face. One of the other things that I realized that, like, I know they said that this game was probably not this game, but the remake is going to be episodic. I'm kind of hoping they don't, because I really don't feel like I I, I... I feel like we shouldn't have to wait this long. Oh, shit. The fucking chair just decided to move. Um, we shouldn't have to wait this long for three separate games. And to pay for three separate games, I think is kind of ridiculous. And I know that they're going to try to market this huge, you know, bundle deal where you buy all three games and you're, you automatically get them all and all you need to do is buy the first game and prepay for the next two and we'll release it to you digitally and yada yada yada. Insert hand doing jerky motion. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to fucking pay for it because this is a game that ever since PS2 came out, I was like, oh, that'd be dope if they made, you know, Final Fantasy games for PS2. The next thing you know, Final Fantasy X comes out. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's not 7, but I'll still play it. Final Fantasy 3 comes out. And I'm like, or not Final Fantasy 3, the PlayStation 3 comes out. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm wondering maybe if they'll, you know, make, 
make it backwards compatible and like the first versions that came out there was only one model that was and there's a bunch of shit you know with with those models that came out until they finally just said that they're not going to make it backwards compatible then you got the freaking PlayStation 3 tech demo I think it was prior to that uh, prior to the PlayStation 3 coming out um, that came out that showed a intro of this game but using the PS3 graphics to show what it could show off and I keep fucking hitting my mic um, and like to see that I was like oh shit they're making a they're making a remake they're remaking it and nothing nothing going on nothing in the works that it was just a tech demo that just basically teased us with a crotch grab and then it was like oh nope sorry you gotta you gotta, you gotta wait but them doing this now it's kind of like fuck you know they released it i think it was like 2015 when they did the first announcement for this and then turned right around and you know a few i think it was like uh, months later months later the Final Fantasy VII came out for the PS4. Uh, uh, it was uh, then like I think it was like maybe two years ago. I want to say two years ago where we got another little snippet where we started getting um, oh shit, where you start you start getting little snippets of like the the screenshots from the game and how everything was going, and then they fucking pulled the game from the separate company that was making it. Which, honestly, I think was kind of a smart idea. Uh, just because I feel like it would have made the game drag out even longer. So to think that in the... the ne oh, shit. I was going to skip this and do it myself. Fuck. Okay. I'm just going to let it go. If you guys want to watch the Materia tutorial, please tune in. Otherwise, skip ahead... X amount, because I don't know how long this shit's gonna fucking take. I was gonna explain the materia function and everything myself and go over that, because I feel like I can do it a hell of a lot quicker and a hell of a lot easier than this fucking game does it. But, it, uh... I don't know. Uh, I'm still holding re reservations on whether or not the game is gonna be episodic, just because it is such a massive title that if, if they can do a massive game such as Final Fantasy XV and make it one game, but then they did all these releases of DLC later, which kind of is like kind of bullshit in its own way. It's like, fucking give us the whole fucking game. You know, nobody wants to play the game 15 times over just to get the whole story. Each time you play it, there's a different story. Um, I did think the... The, the the episode like Ignis and uh, uh, all the other ones the, I thought that was actually kind of a good idea because it kind of explained where they went while Noctis was gone getting sidetracked here but if they can do something like that and then as well as do Kingdom Hearts 3 as one big title that they've been working on for a long time it's very understandable that they could do the same thing with this game I just, I hate this part. I hate it with a passion. Like, I I feel like a more... A more... I, I feel like I could just open my wrists right now and make it that much more easier than putting up with this shit. I know, I'm just, I'm sk skipping it as fast as I can. Make it fucking stop. Advanced tips later? Fuck you, we're not doing advanced tips later. I'm gonna be honest, the way they explained it 
totally didn't fucking get it either. Really didn't. Like, it took me about half of the game before I actually re realized what the fucking materia system was, how to use it, and how to use it properly. And there is a lot of different stuff I could show you. There is some accessories that we can get that benefit us very greatly. Very greatly. But also have some side effects. Well, your boy here is going to show you how to bypass said side effects. Hey, old man. I need some shit. Give it to me. Of course I'm a customer. So. Bam! Fire material. Right off the bat. Do not forget to get this. This is your easiest way to jump the gun and get it ASAP. Otherwise, the soonest you're going to get it, I believe, is Red 13. When you go to Assault Shinra Headquarters. That's quite a bit. And in, in the meantime, you can actually take the time and level this fucking thing up. And you, can, If you do enough, you could get Fire 2 before you get there. Just saying. So, shift that over. Uh, get that out. That out, and put that in here. Now we're gonna go buy that bangles and use those, because that's just gonna give us more material slots that we're going to need, so. So. Three of those. And a upgrade gun for Barry. That's how we do things around here. Oh. And from my understanding, the iron bangles, that's the same thing. Like, after this point in the game, that's the only time you can get them. So... I'm not saying stock up, I'm just saying get, get your three and move on. But, so the way th the way this works with materia, so like if I had fire and there's an all materia, all makes any conjuncting materia uh, either heal everybody, attack everybody, depends on how you want to use it. So like if I had fire all, I could do fire magic on all enemies however many times that all has been leveled up. Uh, if all is mastered, you can use it five times. Uh, otherwise, it's one time per star. So if you have two stars, you can use two times, three for three times, so on and so forth. It's just once it's mastered, you can use it five times, and then that's it. And here is where we get... Oh, shit. Motherfucker. So, if you want more in-depth tips, there is, in here, each of these persons, they go over a bunch of different stuff. Everything from limit breaks to everything. It's just literally everything. More materia tips, the whole nine yards. Plus, you get an added save point. So, we are going to save right now. Just because I don't want to run the chance of missing and forgetting to do it. Because I think we're pushing on, yeah, almost an hour now. But it covers a bunch of different tips. Very useful, very resourceful. Take the time, read it. Oh, speaking of all, right here. Air chest! Ether. Yeah, hidden chests, a lot of times, yeah, yada, yada, yada. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, so, we go back over here to our materia. If I switch out lightning for all, you could do it either restore all, or all restore, it doesn't matter which direction, it, whatever your personal preference is. Either way, in a paired slot, they will do restore all. So when I do my cure magic, I will do cure all, instead of cure individual. But you can switch it to do cure individual by hitting, I think it's like R1. And then it'll change the all to a single, and then you just select the person. That way you don't have to waste it when you actually don't need it. Pop that back in there. 
and shit, probably should go back. Um, I'm going to leave this episode right here. I've covered a lot. This next section that's going to come out is going to take forever, and I'll probably be playing this for about another hour, and I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch this video for two hours. Maybe one. I've seen some of you guys do it, and you guys are troopers for doing so. But, as always, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Take a look at my videos. The other ones I've got going up. I've got a bunch of different ones. I've got new ones coming down the line. I'm just... I'm randomly just grabbing shit off my shelves and just going, Hey, I haven't reported this. Let's play this and see what happens. <laughs> so, if you like it, let me know. If you're just now tuning in, be sure to subscribe. I would love to, to build my followers up the more I do. And, you know, just within the last couple days, I've jumped up at least three or four. You know, just from the Final Fantasy VII re re the reaction. Like, I literally, like, it was, the video I did, it was just so awesome to see that. And it, I would have missed it if it wasn't for a fellow YouTuber that I follow. I gave him a shout out in the video. He does some of the same stuff. He's got Final Fantasy videos, a bunch of different other ones. Um, he's just really cool. I mean, he, he covers a lot of the stuff that, you know, a lot of people don't know. So, like I said, thank you again for tuning in. And as always, I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace!